Hello everyone, this is Andrew Gray, and we are in the fifth video of our Parabolic Trough Series. And what do you know, we've got these two troughs and they work! They work! Oh boy, so I'm going to share with you how what we've got going here. As a little review, we've got these two Parabolic Troughs, and uh, we've got uh, this uh, black tube in, in here with uh, a clear tube vacuum chamber on top of it with a vacuum pull and then we've got our we've got our hydraulic cable mounted here so that the the frame can go over without a joint and we've got some PEX tubing here we've used as a as a low voltage wire conduit and over here we've got our little chain drive fixed walk over here we see we have our chain drive here the little motor here. Now I've got this under computer control. Um, we've got a little program here. So for example, uh, we can uh, make the frame go down. You can see it's starting to go. It moves quite slowly as uh, Dwayne Johnson is instructed us to do. We stop it and then go the other way. Well, go. Dang. See? Now, now it's going the other way. Okay, so you see how that works and we can stop it. Okay, now if you come around the back here. You can see we've, we've had to do a little modification. Oh, you might want to come around over here. You can see we've did a, done a little modification. We've got this anti we got this torsion bar anti twist bar here and the reason for this is is the frames tend to uh, twist this other frame stood out in the weather for a couple of months and the and the frames twisted so we, we've welded a stainless steel plate here with a 5 8 inch all thread and another plate over here and tightened it down and this keeps the troughs from twisting so now there's they stay completely flat and the, and and the alignment is much much better. And then on over here, um, you've seen we've gone to a a, a five eighths all thread. Um, we initially had an, a half inch all thread, but the five eighths is better because it doesn't bend as much. And then we have this uh, angle aluminum on the top because sometimes uh, our little mechanism jams and it wants to bend up a little bit. So the the thicker rod and the um, angle aluminum lets this work very well now and uh, another thing the little Granger motor that we had in here was when I added the second trough it was not powerful enough darn so we had to, Wayne showed us uh, a site um, where we could, could get this uh, surpluscenter.com has a little motor that's twice as powerful as the Granger it's a, but it's slower so that the, uh, the larger uh, all thread also has its coarser thread, so that helps move it a little faster. And so we've got this stronger motor and the coarser, larger all thread, which is slower, but it works okay. And this is the little embedded computer that is power, powering all the software. Now we've taken this is a complete 12 volt uh, Alix 1D made by PC Engines, and we've got this running on on 12 volts only so the whole system is 12 volts we have 12 volt motors we've even powered this system with a solar panel so photovoltaics for a while with a, a battery and that works okay and we've we've done a little piggyback board here that has the uh, power electronics on it that runs the motors and uh, and it works works really well okay and uh, Okay, and finally we've got uh, our vacuum system. Now we had to turn this around from our last video. We, but the vacuum, the two vacuum lines are coming out here, and you see I've got them connected. They'll eventually be four of them. They'll go all the way across and go down the other post. And I've got this, uh, I've got this vacuum gauge here that you can see that just temporarily shows that we've got 28 inches of uh, mercury vacuum on here, and it's been this way for a few weeks. And so even when the even when it's cold out, these vacuum tubes protect the, the, the focal pipes from the cold 
and it's working really well. We're getting about a 15 degree Fahrenheit differential all day, even when it's cold, like in the 40s outside. It's so nice. So, this is Andrew Gray with the fifth video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.